So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that this Adam alayhi salam had Hawa standing right next to him. And the Quran says at the beginning of Surah An-Nisa, Allah makes mention of how he created a woman. And he says, Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. So today I'm going to be reacting to something that you guys highly suggested and I'm so excited given that it's a move to make video i'm eager to see what this is all about but before i get into the video i want to say well i should reintroduce reintroduce myself i guess like i said my name is fanny lungu we do reactions on this channel but we do have a vlogging channel which is fanny and jesse 2.0 other than just youtube we also do podcasts you can look for us on itunes or podbean um, diving in with Fanny and Jesse for social media. Our social media will be in the description, but for me, it's a Fanny Lungu. It's a Fanny Lungu L on Instagram and just Instagram. Instagram is fine. And for Jesse, it's Jesse Keegan on almost everything. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. I would like to give a big shout out to everyone that's been supporting us. Your support is just so... I don't even know how to describe it. I had the word but it's gone. It's just gone. It's just... I don't know how anyone can ever describe all these supports that's coming our way. We just were glad, were thankful and we'll keep going. You support us and we'll we'll go there we'll get, i guess we'll get where we want to get to um shout out to the people that subscribe shout out to the people that comment shout out to the people that like shout out to the people that um share our videos we appreciate everything from the beginning and will forever appreciate from the chinese side supporting us and as we go along this journey anyway so today i'm going to be reacting to the creation of the first woman move to men I wonder what this is all about so let's dive right into the video now there is a question how did Hawa or Eve may peace be upon her come about it's a very interesting question and it has a beautiful answer. According to some of the narrations, Adam alayhi salam was the only species, the only of his kind, mankind. One, there was no one else. Naturally, he was feeling lonely, lonely because the angels, there are so many. This, there are so many. Me, I'm only one. So he used to want company. He used to ask Allah for company, something that would grant him comfort. One day when he got up, he noticed someone looking very similar to him. What do we learn from this? A woman was given to a man as a gift after great prayer. MashaAllah. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really to make us from those who can appreciate that and who can understand it. Because many people forget this and they don't realize that this woman was actually a gift. But let me quickly also remind the sisters, live your lives in such a way that you are like a gift, not a burden. I mean. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that this Adam alayhi salam had Hawa standing right next to him. And the Quran says at the beginning of Surah An-Nisa, Allah makes mention of how he created a woman. And he says, we created from him, meaning from Adam, his spouse, his wife, which means Hawa. Now there are certain people who are embarrassed and they say, no, we weren't created from man. Well, why be embarrassed? We were created from dust, from soil. At least you were created from something which was already living. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. There is nothing embarrassing. We are there right now. Let's talk of where we are now. This is history. No need to deny a sahih hadith. And no need to deny a verse of the Quran. Clearly, it says this in the opening verses of Surah An-Nisa. That Allah created man. And then he created a woman from the man. So... The hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu in Sahih al-Bukhari makes mention of the rib of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. There is nothing wrong with being created from a rib. 
And when the hadith speaks about how a rib is bent and how the top of it is bent and if you try to straighten it, you might crack it. So be very, very careful how you treat your women. I think a lot of the women don't understand that hadith and they take it personally and they take it wrongly. They think it's an insult. Wallahi, it's not. All it is, it is telling the men folk that be careful how you handle the women, be very kind to them, be very tolerant and be very, very patient with them. Because if you want to straighten them like a pin, you might end up cracking them, which is true. You can't have your wife exactly as you want. No, no two human beings are the same. Not at all. You know, when I was young, we were always told the five fingers are not the same. One day my dad came along. And he says, well, if you make an effort, they can all be one. You see, you need to bend one and change the other one and do this to the other one. Then you get all of them in one line. So it means an effort is required for us to be on par. There is a give and take. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. That was a short but educative video. I say educative because people really have to learn um from from what we have to not people have to but we have to learn from what we listen to what we watch whatever the case is what we read um this was a beautiful message i feel like um just women in general in the world not muslim women not christian women not whatever people believe in women all around the world some women not everyone some women have misunderstood a lot of things in life not just women i guess men as well but women want to take things far just because it says equality doesn't mean you know that's just something else the way we look at things in a different way we feel like we're being oppressed when it comes to certain things that I understand when he explained whatever he was talking about I think we need to put our guard down and just chill and treat each other the way we're supposed to treat each other men treat your women like queens women treat your men like kings they should be like mutual respect let a man do his work which is to um take care of a woman a woman is also supposed to take care of a man but the levels of taking care of each other i guess differ the best example is our parents look at the way our parents have managed to make it work and their roles are so different they appreciate each other with whatever they can contribute to their relationship to build whatever they have but these days I feel like there's too much competition i'm being oppressed for this i need to do this i can do what that woman can do i can do what that man can do just people people have to relax people really need to chill and the best thing i ever heard was the way a woman acts is a reflection of, of how a man um treats her so if you treat your woman bad you best believe She's going to be a burden and a bad person to you as well. You won't get what you want. But once you start treating your women right or your woman right, um, I guess things work out. Because once you bring in good energy into something, it just gives back good energy in return. And then there's just joy everywhere. I mean, why would not they be love and joy spread around? We need to respect each other guys respect each other and we should understand our roles most especially i feel let's separate our roles just because i mean you can be independent but that doesn't mean that you should look down upon maybe a man that wants you or a woman that wants you separate your jobs let a woman do her job let a man do his job and at the end of the day i guess that's how things work out for both man and woman at the end of the day that's when when it comes to this um i don't think anyone should get offended because we were created from a man what bad is in that 
at least we were created, we exist, we're living life, we're enjoying life, we're here breathing, we're watching this reaction video. So why so why be so bitter about being created from a man? Some things you just overlook and just let things be. It's, it just shows that we should be women should be appreciated like he said we should take ourselves as gifts we, we should be treated like gifts act like gifts and there's something i wanted to say but i've forgotten but that's what we are we're precious to the other partner we're supposed to complement each other not to compete with each other anyway let me know what you feel about this video and what you feel about my reaction if you've got any more suggestions drop them in the comment section below and We'll do it. We'll do it for you. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe.